Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 16, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied up towards the the 40 exponential moving average and basically got rejected yet again at the 40 exponential moving average. So it's the second day in a row that we basically get rejected at the 40, um, 40 and we are also finding support down here at 100 moving average. So we're basically trading in between the 40 and the 100 moving average. Technical indicators, they are basically turning good to the upside. We can see that MACD is still in negative territory by crossing the signal line and becoming bullish. The RSI is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish as well. So we are fairly close to the top of this range, but the rejection of the of basically at the 40 exponential, that it could mean that we could head back south at this point, rally above the 40 exponential will most likely find major resistance up here at the 50 moving average. Breakdown below the 100 could open the door to the 150 moving average. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. As you can see, we have broken down below the 40 exponential and trading underneath the 40 exponential at, sorry, US dollar, Japanese yen, I was supposed to say. So we're trading underneath the 40 exponential moving average at this current stage and are basically, we almost headed towards the 50 moving average. So we're getting fairly overstretched to the downside. We are basically at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. We are getting significantly oversold as well. So we may see a bounce of the 50 moving average at this current stage. If you drop below the 50 moving average, then we could head all the way down towards the 100, down here at 106. That basically means that this, uh, this currency bear will basically fall apart. But at this current stage, we're still trading about the 50 moving average. Rallies from here will most likely find resistance up here at the 20 exponential at 109. So let's look at the Euro, US dollar. And as you can see, we are basically trading above the 200 moving average at this point. We are on the edge of being overbought. We are significantly, uh, or we are basically overstretched there. We're significantly overbought. Technical indicators otherwise are uh, very uh, bullish, uh, but a pullback uh, could be expected at this point. So we are basically running into major resistance at the 150 moving average, and we're also finding support here at the 200 moving average. So break about the 150, opens the door to the 100 at 12.04, break below the 200, opens the, opens the door to the 50 down here at 11.93. Um, however, as you can see, we are basically at the top of the bullish band and we are significantly overbought here in the RSI. Other indicators are very bullish. So let's look at the Aussie US dollar. And as you can see, we are trading well above the 50 moving average. So yes, at this current stage, we could go and test these previous highs here at the 0 0.78. Technical indicators are very bullish. There's still not, uh, some room to the upside before this gets overbought. But if you look at the bullish band here, it is significantly overstretched. So a pullback at this point should be expected. So we can may find a major uh, support at the 50 moving average if we have a pullback. And otherwise, uh, if we start trading above the 50 moving average, we could see this go back to these previous signs of 0 0.78. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. Uh, we have broken down quite significantly and then we rallied again. So at this current stage, we found a major resistance here at the 420 exponential moving average, but we did fall all the way down towards uh, 1248. Uh, so yes, it is just more of the same. Rally up towards the 50 or there, give or take and then just breaking even further down. So we may see this go even lower than 1237 at this current stage. Technical indicators there are all favoring the downside. We got fairly overstretched here, and that's why we basically pulled back and got significantly rejected at the 20 exponential. So we hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.